In this review, we're going to look at a model that's in the larger scale of 1 to 32. But despite that, it's actually a very small model. It's made by NZG and it's of the Genie GS1330M scissor lift. This particular scissor lift is an electric machine and it's one of the smallest that Genie make. It's for two people and it weighs less than one ton. Out of the box we have the usual pair of trays and the model inside is protected by soft paper. Now listen up, there's no assembly to do because it's complete. Out of the box. Let's start underneath and things are quite simple and you can see the NZG logo on the base. One thing that's interesting is the extremely small wheels with their rubber tyres. The tiny wheels have some detailing and you can see that there's also some detailing on the base. Perhaps the interesting thing to note is just how small this model really is, even when measured against a giant finger. At one end of the machine are some textured access steps up into the platform and on the opposite side there are highlighted details. The scissors are held together by tiny brass rivets and inside the scissors is a simple hydraulic ram. Up on top the basket has got nice graphics and a textured floor and the handrails around the basket are metal. Also nice is a tiny control console and it has a joystick. And again to get a measure of the size here's our giant finger again. Here we are once again out on the Cranes Etc test track and this little scissor lift moves along nicely in a straight line. Even though it's extremely small it does have working steering. It is a little bit stiff to set but that does mean it stays in whatever position you set it at. The model does follow a curve but because it's so small it's easy to skid it as you move it. Next we need to reach for the sky so we'll lift up the platform. And the engineering is good because it holds any position that you set. The model has one more trick up its sleeve and that is the extending platform. Even in 1 to 32 scale this is a very small model. But as you would expect from NZG it's very well made and it's nicely engineered. And it has some small details which are pleasing. So this is another nice model that's made for the Genie company and overall it is good. <laughs>